is sex ed news. Ooh. Submitted by lights, camera, action. I like that you Nikki. participated. Thank you. You're welcome. She was ready yeah. to. He's all over this I'm like one. front row at a stand up show. Yeah, and you're excited. Yeah, and I'm like, I've never been here before. Oh, he said my name. Oh, he says I, I, I suck pussies. <laughs> suck pussies. Suck pussies. <laughs> Dude, that's a new one. That's a good comic. Yeah. Yeah. Here are 10 answers to sex questions that you might be too embarrassed to ask. Not my wife. Like, oh, not her. Is it like, on the first day, don't be embarrassed to ask that you want to get pegged in the butthole? <laughs> what? No. I so think that's not one question. <laughs> yeah. So these, these were like, what is Peggy? How do you put on a condom or something like that? No, no, no. Or not that basic, but they are oh. more, to me, they seem like very like new to sex. Kind of These are for people who read Yahoo News where oh, you so found like it. Like they're up. embarrassed because of their lack of knowledge. Oh, where's yeah. the clit? Not because it's a fetish, but because like yeah. everyone should know this. Yeah, kind of thing. How do you finger somebody? Where's the G spot? No, no, no. Those are those are too advanced. Oh, okay, let me just. How do I relax my asshole? Is this for six? <laughs> is this for sixteen-year-olds? <laughs> that was just a question. No. How do I get my boner to go away during class? It's not that young. Oh, let me just shit. tell you these. That's questions. easy. You think oh, of grandma. Oh, you always oh, think of grandma. Annoying. Let me just tell you the first one, and this is for both men and female. Stop it. You're trying to peek. <laughs> well, the first one says, I can never have an orgasm during sex. Is there something wrong with me? You can't come? Mm -hmm. A guy or girl? I feel like this could be for both. Mm -hmm. so, no, but then this one seems like it's more about women. Yeah. So then this says because media. porn makes it seem like women come every single time. Oh, we that's exactly what it says. <laughs> yeah. So it says that's media often shows women having an orgasm immediately after having penetrative sex, but for many people with vaginas, orgasms yeah. require more than just penetration. The vast majority of women can't orgasm because most of, most women need clitoral stimulation mm -hmm. to reach orgasm. There is a small percentage of women though that have never experienced orgasm, orgasm. period. Yeah. Yeah, know. and they date you. Oh, that's looking tight. Hey, Julia, give me one. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen her face. She was like, <laughs> and it's like, and it's like psychological or something. Like yeah. they can't, Get there because you they're can't hitting, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, well, vaginally, it's hard for a lot of women to have or to have orgasms during sex because it's also to do with the dick shape. Like the penis has to consistently hit that G spot, which is mm. in you know mm. a place that I don't know, not all dicks are shaped that way, and they have to do it consistently until like the woman comes. So there's so many factors: one, yeah. your dick shape; two, the consistency; three, the pace of it; the, no, four, no, the letting the go. Yeah. All the guys are like, all we right, just right, oh right, shit. Yeah, yeah. So there we just found out that Nikki's um, vagina tilts to the left. I think. No, my uterus. Oh, your uterus tilts to the left. Mm. I don't even. How'd know you why. find that out? Uh, yeah. Uh, my gyno. I have a new gyno, and she did an ultrasound on my uterus, which I didn't even know that they did that. But I recently did one too. Yeah. Yeah, for my ovaries. Oh yeah. For my ovaries. I had like an overactive ovary and it really hurt. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, apparently, I got a lot of really fertile eggs in there. Well, yeah, I mean, so, you're like. And it leans to the left, so now I hit it, I hit it towards the left every time. <laughs> you're like, Uterus, not her vagina. Yeah. That's not my vagina. Yeah, you wanna you go towards the right? You don't wanna fucking. Shit, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. The second question What is the anatomy of a I woman's know, right? right? <laughs> That's Steve's question. Simple. I would like to know. See, and the really peephole like is the same thing. Wait, so are these questions that you. Don't want to ask. Or yeah, like you're too embarrassed to ask. Embarrassed to ask because you think so that's something's why wrong. These questions are being asked by a gynecologist and a sex therapist. Second question here is: I can't have an orgasm during sex, but I know how to give one to myself. How can I direct my partner to help me orgasm? Well, that's the same kind of question. Yeah. It's more clitoral than vaginal. Also, I was reading um, that, and I don't know people. I don't know everything, but I was just reading this article that. Um, as women get older, like in their mid to late 30s, they have more vaginal orgasms. So I'm really looking forward mm. to that. Mm. Vaginal orgasms. Oh, like yeah. a G-spot one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Dang. So it just like picks up or something? I don't know. Huh. I, but just, I was reading something that's Maybe because like, older women become less self-conscious. Maybe. And they're like not in Maybe their the heads. Maybe the mental thing. Oh, I, yeah. I really do think it's a huge mental thing. Yeah. It's like you just always think, I have to come, I have to come, I have to come, I have to come, or I should come. You know what I mean? Really? Like, I don't think that. I'm just like, man, this is also good. Also, too, I mean, yeah. I'm not, like, I, don't try I haven't to had get like to the a end. plethora of women I've been with, like a very few handful, but from what I've experienced, like the girls who 
were a lot more relaxed and more comfortable, it was easier for them mm -hmm. versus the ones that felt pressure that they had well, to. That's true. We feel pressure because our partner really wants to make us come and mm -hmm. they feel like they failed if they didn't. Oh, I don't feel like I failed at all. So that's I, why I feel like I got a free ride. I feel like a lot yeah. of pressure. It feels nice. <laughs> it feels like I we had dinner together and then I dined and dashed and you don't and you, <laughs> you don't know. Because I get A for effort. I tried. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time. It was yeah. great. And I genuinely tried. Yeah. And if I couldn't succeed, well, I got a B plus. That's all I got. But it doesn't have to this question here, though. Uh, this sex therapist and gynecologist, they were saying that the best step is to teach your partner how to help you orgasm with their hands. So like you play with yourself and then they can put your their hand on top of your hand and then you can tell them what it is that you're doing and then they can no, do that thing. Yes. Communication you. is a big thing and I think I just did like, not about this, but it's like where people talk about how they think that there's like a specific code for every yeah. girl and it's not the case. Mm -mm. It's about talking to the person, knowing what they like and then you adjust. And sometimes you gotta experiment too because they don't know. Exactly, like yeah. your one little dick move that you've been doing isn't gonna work for every yeah. fucking person. Yeah. You know? yeah, but when you think that you own pussy, which <laughs> are my favorite guys in the yeah. world, that's when you just copy paste your one move that you did to your high school girlfriend that you think like you, now you're the shit forever at. And every single girl has been just stroking your ego. It's exactly. like you think that you're a locksmith because you have one key that works in your one home lock. Exactly. <laughs> so you think it works exactly everywhere. Exactly what I said. Money. It's like, yo, how come the tornado didn't work on you? You right. called it the tornado? <laughs> like, you fucking fuck? <laughs> the cyclone, how come the cyclone didn't work? Yeah. I mean, same goes for like girls with guys. Right? Would Guys are a lot easier. No, not really. Same exact, uh, same exact motion, same exact yeah. technique, same yeah. exact thing. No, not really. Yeah, I can fuck There's a wet sock and come. <laughs> wet sock? Part, I think for the most part, it's it's not that hard to figure out. I mean, like, what, like look at porn. Well, it's not about figuring out, because at least, like, from my experience, it's like one person likes one thing more than the other person would yeah. like it. So it's like figuring out what it I is think it's more like, like this. It's, it's, it's more preferential when it comes to blowjobs and hand jobs. But the vagina is a great vagina. Nice. And once we pump it, it's gonna squirt. But the hand yeah. and the mouth are is a different story because hand jobs are really hard, I think, for a girl to get right unless you communicate. You know, unless a guy actually told the girl, hey, I don't like it like that, I, you should do it like this. Because the girls don't have a dick, so how the fuck would they know how yeah, we would exactly. like it? So unless you really told somebody, it's not gonna really adjust. Same thing with the blowjob too. If, if you just put your mouth on it, it's like whatever, like fuck that shit. Yeah, and I feel like for mm -hmm. girls don't have to do much. For As like Steve was saying. Most, in most cases. Really, because it feels like a lot of work. Like, <laughs> Wait, it doesn't feel like it's a lot of work? Huh? What's a lot of work? No, he says we don't have to do much. <laughs> in really, most my, cases. My jaw could tell you otherwise. Like, <laughs> yeah. if you think about it, right? Like, you don't have to. You don't it's have a lot to, of work. You don't have to do much. But. Then you're on your back, and that's kind of nice. Yeah. All right, next question. Yeah, like, you're not on top, right? Guys could make themselves yeah. come. Like all you gotta do is just like lay there. Oh. I could look at a, a bean bag kind of jiggling and yeah. come. All right, next question. <laughs> yeah. Why does it sound like I'm farting from my vagina during sex? So oh, I guess like a lot of people don't know this, but <laughs> it's called a queef. And so that happens when you're pumping during sex. Air you're pumping in. air inside the vagina, and then it's gonna Are come these, out. Is this like people like Amish people like fucking? For That's what I'm saying. Like this is kind of like well, beginner. This is for Seventh Day Adventists. Mind. But it might be also why people are embarrassed to ask because they know it sounds beginnery. Probably. So that's a good reason why we're talking about this. Or thing. they could just be twelve-year-olds. Is can a penis break? Hmm. Technically, kind of yes, because it, it's a rupture. You can have a rupture of a penis. You hmm. can tear the sponge, or you could even uh, what's it called? The 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 urethra can yeah. actually tear. Eee, urethra. Yeah. Oh, not urethra. The fucking what you call oh, it? We did a JK News where a guy broke his dick. Yeah. Snap. That's like one of the things I I like realized. Urethra. urethra? When we were doing ass to feels, it was like a big wake up call to me, like to see how many people are not like open and honest in relationships or like they can't communicate certain things and I was like why? Because not everyone's the same and people are embarrassed for certain things or they're too self-conscious. Well like even married couples are like I don't know it's just like wow. Yeah. It's because we're raised in a society that teaches that sex is bad and like that it should be covered up in some way and not like uh, openly like, yo, it's cool, to, it's okay to talk about this. Like my parents sheltered us from sex and it just made me more interested in what the fuck was going on. But if you already had sex with them, wouldn't that, I don't know, that's like my icebreaker. So after I, ha I have sex with someone, like at that point, 
I can say whatever. You're extroverted, yeah. right? So I think a lot of people, they have sex with somebody, but they're more like meek about the way that they feel about things. And so they need to, they need to feel really comfortable and really like they're not gonna be judged like to say what they It's need a vulnerable to topic. Yeah. I don't know if this is like a case, I mean, this is obviously mine's very anecdotal, but uh, like Asian women that I have been uh, sexually active with tend to have been more uh, demure and they were, they just didn't communicate very well. You know what I mean? So if I ask oh, them, what yeah. do you like? What do you not like? They don't even know. They, they, they don't, don't know, know or they feel really weird. Yeah, or yeah. if we were- like, Ah. Uh, yeah, 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 again, that's yeah. how you're raised. The comfort zone. Yeah, it, was, it has to yeah. do with like how the household is Act too. like a lady or whatever. Yeah, it's not anecdotal for me, but that's, you know, I've been with majority mm -hmm. Asian women. So when, when I experienced that, it was always so weird for me because I never knew what to fucking do. I didn't know because nobody would tell me. Mm. You know I mean? And it took for a freak ass fucking Filipino girl to fucking, you know, <laughs> really like, hey, I don't like this, I don't like that, do it this way, do it that way. It's always the Filipino girls that teach you all that <laughs> you shit, know? dude. She yeah. fucking roasted my ass, dude. She hurt my feelings. I was like, well, I'm gonna fucking do that then. You I know? will say right now, for the record, that is definitely. An Asian thing, <laughs> because Filipino, Filipino wife. Because he dated other Asians. It's the Filipinos. Filipinos, Filipinos are different yeah. though. But I always say it's not an Asian thing, right? So I'm just, I'm just connecting it to that. The Filipinos yeah. are like that. Oh yeah. I tell them right away. I'm like, go lower. No harder. No softer. Yeah. Lower. Uh, to the left. It's the Spanish side. <laughs> yeah. It's easier too. So like from then I realized, oh, that's not a good thing. They don't like this. They don't like that. Because there's like general yeah. truths, and then there's like specific things that's to that person. Yeah. So until her, she was the one that actually was like, oh shit, I should ask these questions. I should like figure it out. You know, because she was so fucking straightforward. Just because I think she had a lot of sex. And that's how she communicated her affection was through physical touch. Yeah, because once you get it right, it's like, yes, you're that's, that's what you want. It's great. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. He's like a spy, and she's telling me how to bomb the target. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really like helpful. E17. Really <laughs> yeah. I literally, uh, I literally asked, okay, no, it's time's up. Fuck it. What's going on? Yeah, so if you guys want to know the rest of these questions and answers, you can check out the link in the description. It was anticlimactic for a sex thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>